Yeehaw, it's YouTube Tuesday. This is Jean with CA&J Farm. Happy Memorial Day. Um, it's actually Monday, and it's still the holiday, but um, I have a class tomorrow, so I can't video tomorrow, so I thought I'd do it today. And today I'm shooting the video from the meditation labyrinth that we built on the farm last December. Uh, December 8th, we had some friends come over, and we all worked really hard and built this in one day. It's the Dragonfly Meditation and Prayer Labyrinth. You can see the, the sign we had built for it. It was, it's just amazing. We, we gathered, we said a prayer, and then we started building, and this is what we built. Uh, it's an ama it was an amazing project, and one we'll never forget. I mean, it was, it was wonderful. I think we're all connected by now. Um, and it, it was just, yeah, we, a lot of people are coming out and walking it, and we really enjoy that. I, I actually registered it with the Labyrinth Society, and um, so if you Google the Dragonfly Meditation and Prayer Labyrinth, up we pop. And people are visiting just to walk it. Uh, I guess people like to walk them. They're all over the world. They're ancient. And people like to mark off that they've walked everyone in the United States and everything. It's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, here's the entrance. It's right there. And you start there. And then you walk quietly to the center. And then very quietly and calmly. And then you turn. You pause a minute. Then you walk it back out. 504 steps. This is a seven circuit classic labyrinth and uh, 30 by 50 feet. Anyway, you'll have to stop by and, and check it out. <laughs> I'm going to sit here at the picnic table for a minute and, uh, and just talk to you. Um, this is another way we, we make money at the farm is by inviting groups out and uh, I've actually got a group coming this Wednesday uh, from Gloucester Parks and Rec. It's a senior group, and they're going to come out here on a van and uh, have a program all day. Um, our programs here, I, I tailor made them. I'm, I tailor make them to the age group. And um, if it's for kids, I, I adjust it. If it's for um, you know older people, I adjust it too. And if it's for master gardeners, I adjust it really well because they really know what they're doing. But. Uh, but anyway, this group's a senior group, so we'll start off and we'll look at the bees and the chickens and the gardens and and um, and tour everything and talk about uh, the herbs. We always have an herb focus, and we'll um, we'll talk about natural wellness because that's what our farm is all about: is sharing natural wellness. And then we always come over to the labyrinth and walk the labyrinth and. Um, and then they, they, every group that visits is painting a labyrinth brick. And we're going to be building a painted pathway uh, from around some of the gardens with those bricks of the visiting groups. And then we always end with a drum circle, so, uh, which is very stress relieving and uh, can even lower your blood pressure. Uh, the drum circles are really, really amazing. Uh, we've had a busy week. Uh, we were open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Had some great visitors and had a wonderful time. And um, they're always very uh, kind. They always shop the barn store and buy some plants and buy some eggs and stuff. And they come and enjoy the labyrinth. And uh, we usually share some uh, kombucha or water kefir with them. And then uh, uh, Friday night we had our, our, our May drum circle. And our next one is June 28th at 7. Hope you can come out if you live local. Uh, our drum circles are, are just wonderful, and uh, we, we are really enjoying them, and they are growing all the time. So try to come out and catch one. Um, then, uh, actually yesterday, we actually took a break. Uh, of course, you got to do the, the farm chores every day. You don't get a break from them. The animals have got to have fresh water and food. But, uh, but we actually took, took time and went and met some friends and had a wonderful meal at a local cafe, Richardson's. And then we had a great time with our friends. And then we actually went to a movie, which we never do that. It was great. But today we're back at it. Um, CA put the uh, shade cloth on the hoop house, which is was desperately needed. It gets so hot in there. And uh, because before we know it, it's going to be time to um, start fall veggie, veggie seeds and, uh, and get ready for the fall and winter crops. So it's uh, never ending. And farming, you're always thinking ahead, thinking ahead. And uh, so we're always already thinking about fall and winter. And uh, here summer's barely begun, but it's going to be a nice summer. I am going to go out and, um, after I get off done with this video, go back and finish planting my okra. And I have some more cucumbers and tomatoes and eggplant to plant. And uh, just finished watering everything. After being so wet for so long, we're actually in a dry spell. And, um, and then we're gonna, I'm going to work on the dogs. The dogs need brushing. I need to cut them down. Uh, cut their fur down some, so I'm going to be working on that. And um, I've got to put some kind of bug repellent on their noses. The flies are just biting their noses horribly. 
And, uh, but the dogs won't leave it on there. Whatever I put on their noses, they just tend to rub off. And uh, about the only thing they'll leave on there that works is some mud. If I mix up some mud and put it on their noses, they'll usually leave that on there. And that helps a little. But, uh, but yeah, the flies are being terrible. We hung a bunch of pest strips around, a bunch of fly strips. And that's helping some, but not too much. Anyway, getting ready for a busy week. Um, have a group visiting Wednesday. Have a class to go to tomorrow. I'm going to one uh, down at Beaver Dam Park. Um, and it is all about youth uh, mental health uh, first aid. So, uh, because I love working with the 4-H and with other youth, I like to, um, I like to have some training in, um, in working with any problems. I, I just think it's a good thing. So, and training is always good, no matter what. I need to take a CPR, too. I haven't done CPR class in a long time. It's always good to be, be prepared. Anyway, hope you had a wonderful Memorial Weekend. Um, we sure did. And just enjoy your summer and get into it because before we know it, it's going to be cold again. So <laughs> anyway, y'all have a great week. I'll see you next week.